second, third main topic today. And our third main topic today is this. Lucas, you know I'm a big fan of good filmmaking. But someone who's good at filmmaking, who I've never seen one of their movies, is Wes Anderson. I know, I know you know. But I love Wes Anderson. Like, I love that he's a good filmmaker and that people love him and that he makes these, you know... Wes niche. Anderson films. Yeah, love yeah. that. And, I, and, I, and, and I'll get around one day to checking them out. But the fact of the matter is, they never just kind of seem my vibe. And that's why I've never really checked one out. But that's not going to keep me reporting on news for you Wes Anderson lovers out there. He has this new film called Asteroid City that's set now for a theatrical release. Um, obviously, you can see here it's starring Scarlett Johansson, looking as beautiful as ever. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to read a little bit of this article. Those who love the most auteur and auteur filmmakers, as I was just saying, uh, Wes Anderson will rejoice at the news that his 11th feature film, Asteroid City, has finally been penciled in for a 2023 release date. Fans of Anderson will be able to kick off their 2023 summer with a healthy dose of perfectly symmetrical shots when Asteroid City hits theaters. <laughs> the film will open for its limited theatrical release on June 16th before expanding to a wider release one week later on June 23rd. That's my uh, little cousin's uh, birthday, actually. Focus Features will handle the film's domestic distribution while Universal Pictures International will handle the international distribution. Um, Asteroid City marks another collaboration between Anderson and Focus Features after Anderson's last three films, including The Grand Budapest Hotel, Isle of Dogs, which I have seen. I do not count that because it's an animated movie. Uh, I do have seen it and own it and love it. Um, and The French Dispatch were all distributed by Searchlight Pictures, which is amazing, and we all love Searchlight. They're basically like five version of a24 right um yeah so yeah this is cool this is interesting uh weird release date right in the summer i bet this is gonna be pretty cool i bet because you know usually this is the time you you put out your blockbuster you know your uh what do we got uh, july's what, 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 what is that guardians or no marvels the marvels, the marvels yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah it's usually you put this big thing out or whatever um but you know it's good to have some little auteur wes anderson filmmaker type of people in there here and there and uh, again i know people really love uh wes anderson so i didn't want to uh not talk about this news today because i'm sure people want to know when his next film's coming out and now we know um a little bit about it so june 23rd is when it will be in a theater near you um lucas you're hearing this information what are your thoughts on wes anderson this new movie and when it comes out i am a big fan of wes anderson actually i, I so i'm really happy you brought this up um <clears throat> i had not heard anything about this act at all and i was while you're reading the article, I was looking at the top. It said, like, what, Brian Cranston, Margot Robbie, Tom Hanks. Yeah, it seems like a uh, star-studded cast, right, yeah. for sure. And, yeah, I'm just going to look at the the itinerary of a junior stargazer convention is spectacular, spectacularly disrupted by world-changing events. Sounds awesome. I mean. Sounds it, like a blockbuster Sunday For sure. Black Edward Black Norton, Black Steve Black Carell, Black. Tilda Swinton, Will Willem Dafoe. My God, man. What a Adrian Brody, of course. Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Jason Schwartzman. I mean, he's always in it. Man, Jeffrey Wright, dude. He's also right. in it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited for this now. Yeah, I love I mean, his, Wes his Anderson. films are known to have, be pretty stacked. For sure. I yeah. know, but, man, like the what Grand a collection. the Grand Budapest Hotel. That yeah, was that stacked. was a good one. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. I used to have the poster actually of it with all of the. Oh yeah, I remember. It's crazy. It. Yeah. I remember when you had it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, um, man. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. I was not expecting to hear about that today. <laughs> yeah, right. For sure, it's it's a cool little tidbit of news. Like I said, sure. we just wanted to uh, cover it here because, like, like I was saying, I'm sure there's lots of uh, fans of Wes Anderson out there, and uh, maybe this one I go out and see. Maybe this is the first. West Anderson, West Anderson movie that I go out to the theaters live action and actually check out. Um, maybe, probably not though. Um, <laughs> we'll see when the trailers come out. We'll definitely have a, sure. a, a video up on our reaction for that, and uh, hopefully it can uh, lure me in with its Wes Anderson-y ways. But usually it actually pushes me away. So, uh, but keep being you, Wes Anderson. Fuck me. 
Uh, anyways, <laughs> guys, uh, what are your thoughts on Wes Anderson and this film coming out and the release date? Uh, June 23rd, like I said. Uh, not that far away. Seems like far away, but we'll be here tomorrow before but, you we know, know it. End game trailer came out four, four years, years ago. ago. <laughs> yeah, but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. All right, with that down, we are going to move on to our fourth main topic today. And our fourth main topic today is this. So just before the show started, I had a chance to show Lucas the trailer for, as you can see here, the pale blue eye. Yar. Um, you know, very interesting trailer name. Uh, also, uh, I hate Christian Bale with a somewhat of a fiery passion most of the time. Um, but yeah, I, you know, host the Screen Talk Live YouTube channel. So I went and checked out this trailer and I was like, oh my God, this looks like something that I want to see like today. And it looks dark and scary and i love me a whodunit kind of situation mm -hmm. uh love that kind of feel um it also kind of gave me uh vibes of of nolan's uh shit i want to say christian bell was in it too uh uh the ma not the majestic the uh oh and um uh, i know you're talking about the the ma the mechanist right no, 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 no. The Machinist? Yeah. That's great. That's the only Christian Bell thing I like. No. Um, the one Christopher Nolan did where they are like a magician in the old days. Oh, man. I can't remember the name of it. But, but yeah, it definitely gave uh, me uh, vibes of like something like that. Um, um, also, I don't know if you remember like Sleepy Hollow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gave me kind of. It gave me the Woman in Black vibe. There you almost. go. There's yeah, another one. Yeah, you, yeah. You've got it's the time period. Yeah, it's, the, it's like 1830. I yeah, think it's what that. It says. It's in that the period location. too. That yeah. Nolan movie. The it's it's. Set I know in, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't put my finger and on it. And it's yeah. got it's got like a big cast in it mm -hmm. too. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but but anyways, yeah, um, yeah. It had it had a real good feel to it. Of course, Bell is great when he's great, and he looks great in it mm -hmm. um there was also some other uh a few people in there that i can't remember but they looked really good in it the acting looks good the sets look good the cinematography <laughs> looks good the i mean it, it looks really good the story even looks good you know Very you, got, drawing, yeah. you got a guy that right you know someone who's yeah. right someone uh there's like a mystery of who ha hanged somebody i mean and then cut their heart out and then cut yeah right there's like some supernatural you've shit also got on. henry melling that's the guy who played dudley yeah, the, that's right. what I was talking about. And he's the little playing dude. Edgar right. Allan yeah. Poe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, it, this is based on tr true, somewhat true, true events. events, right, right. right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously, yeah, it's yeah. Hollywood eyes <laughs> for sure. But, but no, that's so. I mean, I, I knew. I don't know enough about. Like, I've read a bunch of Edgar Allan Poe stuff, but I don't know enough about his personal life. The things I have heard, dude, they're crazy mysteries. Like, he yeah. got actually got involved in some crazy stuff. And I can I cannot wait to see this. Oh my god! Well, that dude had to be out of his mind, for sure. I mean, he's for sure, growl and bone. Yeah, <laughs> but no, the it, the Who Done It part of it, man. It, it looks. I'm so excited. I, I I looked it up as soon as we were done watching it because I was hoping it was out today. It's January sixth, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, again, not that far away though. You know? Can't come soon enough, man. Yeah, but and it's a Netflix uh, a release, so mm -hmm. you'll be able to check this out on Netflix without having to go to theaters and mm -hmm. uh, do all that junk. So yeah, um, this like I said, this looks like a lot of fun. Um, it looks like my kind of movie. I love those Me too. dark style. What's mm -hmm. going on? Who did it? Love that. Um, even it reminds me a little bit of the uh, the guys that do Shaun of the Dead. They mm -hmm. did that one. that's like the Village. God, I love that movie. It's Hot Fuzz. So. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, love yeah. that. It's got that kind of, you know, <laughs> what the hell? There's like this underlying tone of like. This is crazy. Yeah, this where, what, so you know, shit, who's doing yeah. these things? And, what kind of monster? Right, you know, right. Yeah. And it ends up being like the town, right? But yeah. And, um, but yeah, so this looks exciting and uh, th I'm excited to see it. Like I said, not a big Christian Bell fan, but this looks good. I'm not going to lie. I would check this out. I'm going to check this out. Um, you'll probably see me uh, give a review up on the channel about it at some point. But but have you guys had a chance to uh, check out the uh, trailer for, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the trailer for, what was it? The Pale Blue Pale Eye. Blue Eye. Uh, very interesting title too, right? I feel like it's just abstract as hell. But Well, I think, um, I think 
Christian Barrel's character is supposed to have blue eyes because when the trailer opens, he's like, is it really true? You got a confession out of somebody just by looking at him. Right. And so he's like giving him the pale blue eye. Oh, he's giving him the, yeah, old, then, yeah. the old Ghost Rider penance. Mm. Show me what Well, right, because he goes on to, uh, <laughs> he goes on to say he's like a, you know, like a suspect will interrogate themselves if you give them the space to. Right. Or whatever. Or you just scare them into it. Right. The pale blue eye. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys, what do you guys think about this trailer for the pale blue eyes? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below.